Well, it looks like the Batman might be joining the MCU. Not literally, but of course I am talking about the actor who plays the Batman, Robert Pattinson, or Pattinson, if you will. He is certainly making his way to a bunch of different really popular franchises. Of course, starting off with Twilight, then he was in Harry Potter, he then went on to be the Batman. And now two different reports tell us that he has met with Marvel Studios about very specific roles for some up coming films and it looks like we might know what those two roles are and I'm really glad people have given Robert Pattinson a chance after Twilight because I think that he's actually a phenomenal actor in fact just last week it was confirmed that he would be joining Christopher Nolan's film with Tom Holland Matt Damon and Hathaway Zendaya and more a big big cast. He was also in Tenet, which I loved, and he's going to be in Mickey 17 coming up next year. But who could he possibly play in the MCU? Well, there are seemingly two characters that he is being eyed to play, and what's interesting is, depending on who he gets cast as, that could actually tell us a lot about what Marvel Studios is planning as far as the story for Secret Wars goes. Some of you may know that there are actually two different Secret Wars in the comics, and there are two different battle worlds in the comics as well. But in each of these comics, the Beyonder plays a really big role. So does Molecule Man. And these could be who Robert Pattinson is up for, but let's go over the report. Now, not too long ago, just last week, Daniel RPK, Industry Insider, reported that Marvel Studios is casting a secret role for both Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars, and this character was going to be a main character and be super important to the overall story. Well, to follow up with that report, yesterday, he said that Robert Pattinson has met with Kevin Feige heavily implying that he is auditioning for or meeting with Marvel Studios about that secret role that they are casting for right now. And again, I must add that Robert Pattinson really is an incredible actor. He's very dynamic. He has a lot of range. And right now, he really is top tier talent. So of course, it would make sense that Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios in general would want him to be a part of the MCU. Plus, not to mention, he plays the Batman in the Elseworlds universe for DC meaning he is not going to be the new Batman going forward in the new DCU. They have another Batman in mind. So as far as we know, he's doing the Batman 2 and the Batman 3, and that's it for DC. But it looks like he could throw in some MCU between all of that. According to the website MaxBliz.com, the studio has offered patents in two roles, the Beyonder and Owen Reese, who is Molecule Man. Now, take this as a rumor for now, because I'm not sure of the validity of MaxBliz.com. Take it with a grain of salt. However, when Daniel RPK first mentioned a secret role that's going to be really, really important for both Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars, immediately I thought, okay, Molecule Man is a character that is very important to the 2015 Secret Wars. He is also in the 1984 1985 version, although he does play a much bigger role in the 2015 version, although switch that for the Beyonder slash the Beyonders. In the 2015 Secret Wars, there are Beyonders, more than one, and they're pretty much out of the picture once Doom kills them and takes their powers. However, in the 1984 Secret Wars, there is simply one Beyonder, and he is responsible for taking a bunch of different heroes and a bunch of different villains, making a battle world and telling the two of them to fight, and whoever wins, he will grant whatever they want, basically. Basically, he is the Beyonder, he can give them anything. However, at one point in time, much like in the 2015 Secret Wars, Doctor Doom ends up getting the power of the Beyonder. Now, again, like in the 2015 Secret Wars, he goes on to lose this power, or in the case of Secret Wars in 1984, the Beyonder gets his power back. So here's kind of where the dilemma comes in, because it also does decide what character slash which story Marvel Studios is going to go with in the MCU, and of course it could be some type of a hybrid story. We know the stories from the comics, but that doesn't mean that's what Marvel Studios is going to do in the MCU. However, we do know that the Russo brothers have really wanted to tackle this project for a very long time, and they do a pretty decent job with the source material. They make their own changes, of course, and they do not adapt page for page, but I'm confident they can handle it right. But again, the question is, which character would be more important, Molecule Man or The Beyonder? 
Honestly, either could work. If they want to do more of a 2015 Secret Wars, then Robert Pattinson could play Molecule Man. And it would be a pretty big role leading up to the destruction of the multiverse. Molecule Man is actually the one who tries to get Doom to save the entire multiverse. They find out that Molecule Man is the same in every single universe. There are no variants. He is exactly the same, and that is because the Beyonders created him, and they created him as a bomb. A bomb in every single universe across the entire multiverse, so they could set him off at the same time, destroying the multiverse. So eventually they realize, after they've killed literally thousands of Molecule Men, that they're never going to be able to kill them all and save the universe that way. So what Doom decides to do instead is collect a bunch of Molecule Men, put them together, and basically throw them all at the Beyonders. Doctor Strange, Molecule Man, and Doctor Doom are the ones who are there. And eventually later on in the story, it's revealed that Molecule Man gives the powers to Doctor Doom. He could have given them to Doctor Strange, but he basically said no. So Molecule Man gave them to Doctor Doom. Later on, Molecule Man would take the powers of Doctor Doom away so he could fight Reed Richards evenly. And eventually he would give the powers to Reed. And just a little tidbit, when they are restoring the multiverse, Molecule Man actually puts Miles Morales in the main six 616 timeline. He does this because he actually gives him a cheeseburger when he was starving. So obviously he has a huge role, but the Beyonder from the 1984 version, again, is just one Beyonder, not Beyonders. He has a huge role as well. Like I mentioned, he is literally responsible for taking all of the different heroes and all of the different villains and putting them together and making them fight each other. But since we have incursions in the MCU, that really kind of points more towards the 2015 version of Secret Wars, because building up to that with the new Avengers and Time Runs Out, that's pretty much all about incursions. And ultimately, right before Secret Wars, there are only two universes left, and then they do collide, and Doom saves what he can and creates Battleworld, with the help of Owen Reese slash Molecule Man. So I'm assuming assuming that if they were going for a particular story, they would go more towards that version, the 2015 version, which would most likely mean that Robert Pattinson, out of the two of those characters, would play Owen Reese, Molecule Man, because the Beyonders would be out pretty quickly, plus not to mention they're kind of alien in this version, whereas in the 1984 version, the Beyonder is, basically he looks like a man. So if these were our two characters, as far as who is going to be the most important during Doomsday and Secret Wars, I would probably say Molecule Man, but if I had my choice, I'd have him play somebody like an X-Men. I actually think he would do a pretty decent job as Cyclops, especially the Cyclops from Avengers vs. X-Men. He's not so buff, he's more kind of lean than anything. I think Robert Pattinson could actually do a pretty great job at that. Kevin Feige has teased that the X-Men are coming, both new and familiar X-Men we shall see, and we're going to see them in the upcoming films. He confirmed this himself. Plus, he did also mention, as we already knew, but he mentioned that they are the future of the MCU. The next era is the mutant era. And if Robert Pattinson wanted to really lock down a character for a long time and be a huge part of a franchise, well, this would be his opportunity if they offered him a role such as a main X-Men. But as always, we will have to wait and see. Nothing is confirmed yet as far as we're concerned right now. They are just talking to him about some certain roles. Again, I think it's Molecule Man, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Would you like Robert Pattinson to join the MCU. And if you would, who would you like to see him play? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news, rumors, or leaks. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.